Okay, may, may kami galap shout out everyone. I cannot talk loud, yeah, because I have my co-worker around. Okay, but anyway, uh, this is a part two of my blog, Why Nursing. Okay, the reason why I pick up nursing is that no, my husband pushed me anyway. If you can go, uh, who, those who did not um, watch my first blog. Uh, nursing is a lot of uh, a lot of job for nurse for nursing. I think one reason why it's a shortage of nurses is because that um, nursing now they are using on everywhere. There is um, now they have the hospice hospice nurse. They have the medical uh they are using in a medical insurance and even the accidental insur uh vehicle uh, uh the vehicle in mva motor vehicle accident they are insurance they are using also nurses um it's a lot of uh, things that they can use nurses so that's why well, that's probably one reason that is a that's why we have a shortage of nurses and uh, their excuse was in the COVID. So uh, and over here there are two type of nurses. There is the registered nurse and a licensed practical nurse. That is me. In Hawaii there is only one school of practical nurse that is the um, Kapilani Community College. So that's the only one for LPN. Uh, it's like a stepping stone to go for RN. Why I did not pursue my RN? To study here in America, or especially in community college, it's a lot of prerequisite. It takes two years to take. Uh, you are smart already to if you can finish in two years for the prerequisite because I have my aide before. She was already three years. She never even finished the prerequisite for a uh, licensed practical nurse. But with me, I went to I went to the mainland. I went to private school. That's why I did not have I did not have a prerequisite. I went direct to the program. It is not easy to go to school here in America. Uh, when I was in the Philippines, I was only playing, going to school. Panggulo lang ako noon. <laughs> Panggulo lang ako sa boarding house namin, guys. <laughs> Ganun ako noon. Hindi ako sikat. Hindi ako sikat dahil matalino ako. Masikat lang ako dahil sa ka, ano, panggulo lang. But anyway, uh, I never had, hindi naman ako bumagsak. Hindi, wala akong bagsak sa mga subject ko. Hindi ako nababagsak. I never experienced to have a failure on my on my subject. Hindi ako nag-repeat-repeat ko mga guys. Hindi pa ako nag, ano ba tawag doon? Kung 4 ka, uh, removal. Eh, wala ako doon. Wala ako sa listahan noon. Puros lang stress, uh, diba, 75 yun. Mm. Yun ang aking grade, mga, uh, mga kapobre. Okay. Ngayon, uh, bakit nursing? Kasi ang nursing, madaling maghanap ng trabaho. Uh, ito ang, uh, sa, sa tinatrabaho ako ngayon, this is the, this is the easiest uh, facility that I got hired. Nag-fill up na ako ng application ko at the same time, na-hire na ako, kinausap na ako, nag-sign up na ako ng, uh, ng employment. Uh, kinabukwasan ba yun? Nag-orient na yata ako. Talagang napaka, napaka, napakabilis. Um, Nag-drug test ka agad ako when I came for my application, to fill up my application. Nag-drug test ka agad ako. Ganyan ka, ganyan kabilis day ang ma-employment para pagka nasa nursing ka. Maski, uh, Licensed practical nurse lang ako, mag ang dali na rin uh, pumasok sa trabaho. Kaya nung mag employment sana ako noon, pero sinabi nila na, uh, what kind of job do you do? Nung sinabi, sabihin mo na, il, na nur, in nursing ka, uh, hindi ka, hindi, 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 hindi nila, uh, hindi sila maniniwala na hindi ka makapaghanap ng trabaho. Pagka nag-employment ka, ay, you had to go to the field, mag-apply ka, tapos ilalagay mo doon sa unemployment mo. Ilang, ilang trabaho 
ang ilang facility ang na-applyan mo. So, at the time, nag, di pinila pa ko, nag-apply ako doon sa uh, uh, assisted living. Guys, sa su sumunod na araw, tinawagan na ako na magtrabaho. Ay, paano ko maibibi na yun? So, wala. Hindi ako naka... So, nag-apply ako. Nag-apply ako. Ay, ano, kinansel ko na yung application ko. Nung nasa doon na, na ako, di, ano na naman. Well, kasi mas mal malayo. At saka ayaw ko yung management niya. Pumunta ulit ako sa pinanggalingan ko doon sa Makaha. Guys, tinawag ka agad ako. Nahire ka agad ako doon. So, that's when I I went over there. Palipat-lipat lang ako, guys. Ay, kung ayaw ko yung trabaho, lilipat ulit ako. Wala akong tiyaga talaga. Hindi ako nag-i-stay sa isang trabaho. Sabat. Nag-stay lang ako ng pinakamatagal doon sa Wahiwa General. 17 years. Yun ang pinakamatagal kong trabaho. Ganyan, guys. That's why I'm encouraging you guys to, especially in the Philippines, yeah. Uh, that's why I like to go for nursing. Here is here is Mindy, the another licensed practitioner. Hello, nurse. who is she? Oh, this one is my blog. Oh, hello. You got you're gonna see it. Yeah. Uh, uh, say make a big love shout out. This is Mindy here, another licensed practical nurse. Okay. You're gonna watch me, huh? This is gonna be on YouTube. Okay. This is gonna be on YouTube. Okay. So that's about it, guys. Next time, I'm gonna talk about the. How much we are getting paid as an LPN and what is the difference between the LPN and the RN. Our pay is a big difference when I was in the hospital, but over here is not a big difference. Okay guys, that's all of my blog for today. Um, I hope you enjoy watching my video and till next time again, don't forget to um, subscribe my channel to bring Hawaiiana. Um, till next time, okay? Mega mega love shout out to everyone. Bye, aloha, and mabuhay.